My name, my name is it's Yang Yang Sang. So I don't really have English name or other names, and uh, I'm living in London. And also we got my colleague here, Sean. He is also from London. So we've been in UK for almost two decades. So it's pretty long time already. So quite local. And um, and uh, and you know we are from the company named Alibaba. And Alibaba as a group, uh, it's got many many divisions. So so has everyone um, heard of Alibaba is before? Yeah. I think so. That's good. Yeah. So, so you know where we're from, and uh, and Alibaba Cloud is a cloud computing division of the company. So it used to be the RT department. So we are very technical. So including me, so I'm also pretty technical. Uh, it used to be good, not any, not good anymore. So, so yeah. So yeah. Let me let me just um give you um a quick talk about uh, what we do, where we're from, and what we can do for you. That's the most important thing. So today is 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 the we want to talk about you know. Uh, where Alibaba come from is we come from uh, very much is uh, e-commerce, you know, you know, trading, you know, platform, you know, the background. So uh, what the goal for us is to support business, to support trading, especially for the international trading. Yeah. So today I want to talk about the, some difficulties, the major ones uh, faced by major, you know, players in the market. Um, yeah. So technically, so I think. Most of people got maybe technical, pretty technical background. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> that's good. That's good. So we speak the same language. That's really good. And um, so basically, they are the major um, difficulties faced by these uh, companies. First of all, security, of course, and different regions. Every region got their um, law, you know, coming on board. Some someone is already running. Something is coming up. So uh, security is uh, really is uh, you know faced by some major you know most of players in the market, and then second one is the performance, speed, latency, and reliability, and uh, reliability, and then the cost. Okay, so we know there is a cost, there is a significant cost for doing this. So we're fully aware of that. And uh, and with the public cloud, it's been a while already. So people really know public cloud. And uh, they know the, uh, what it can do, and people become more and more acceptable to the public cloud. People are really happy to to try them, and, and uh, as um, you know, as the alternative to the existing, and um, and also Alibaba Cloud is uh, uh, is the most is the major um, uh, cloud computing provider from China, from Asia. Uh, okay, so we are about um, eighty years history already. So we were founded in the um, year two thousand and nine. So so far it's about eight years old. Um, okay, so um, it's the implementation of the cloud by, by most enterprises globally. As you can see, um, majority of some companies, the customers, especially for enterprise customers, global ones, they are accepting multi-cloud strategy. So multi-cloud, okay, and um, so they normally they have uh, most uh, at least two providers. So number one in the market globally is uh, Amazon Web Services. So everybody know AWS. And um, and in addition to that, people probably talk about uh, Microsoft Azure and um, uh, IBM, Google, for example. And uh, we are from China, from Asia. So we are very much dominant in China. In China, the cloud business we have um, uh, more than sixty percent market share. So China, we we are completely dominant. Or other players are pretty small. And now we are doing the globalization, and uh, here we are. Um, so we got, yep. Yeah, so it's a, it's a, it's a real background. So what is Alibaba Cloud? We think it's um, it's the gateway, okay, so to the new world. Okay, we know there's an old building that's a very, very old building in China, in the capital of China, Beijing, and uh, but it's the gateway to the new uh, economy. And uh, over the entire world, Asia, it's a market. So everything is um, you you use Alibaba Cloud. Why? Because the business is everything is business driven. Because you want to enter new market and you want to do the business there, especially for the cross border business in between. So that's the reason why. So we need uh, Alibaba Cloud. Okay. So before we answer that, let's talk about Alibaba company as a as a as a whole. Um, people know Alibaba, and but uh, but what does Alibaba really do? Um, very few people can really clearly give a clear answer by, about it. So Alibaba, as a group, so by end of last year, year two thousand sixteen. Okay, so uh, we have built up um, a virtual, so another economy, you know, platform, 
and uh, in, in terms of size, the volume of the planet is economy. It's already world number 20th uh, economy body of the world. So um, yeah, that means the whole volume is being a lot bigger than many, many countries in all the world already. We are serving uh, almost half a billion consumers in the world, okay? And uh, with lots of, uh, we have about 45 billion jobs created. We don't really hire many people. So globally, we have about 40,000 employees working for Alibaba Group. And, but we are serving half a billion people in the world. Okay, so that's, and we, and we, we really managed to get 45 million jobs created because of uh, this economy body. Okay, so if we look into the, this group in a little bit deeper inside, as you can see, Alibaba Cloud is sitting as the foundation of the whole, you know, I don't want to call it empire, it's a whole structure, yeah. So it's the enabler of the business, technically. And um, from the marketing, we have a market product named the Ali Mama. Okay, so, but, oh, right, 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 anyway. So I don't want to talk give back to you why it's called Ali Mama, but it, it sounds very, very cozy. Yeah, it's Mama. Yeah, Mama always looks after us. And the Baba will lead us to so somewhere further to give us, some, you know. So you got Mama, you got Baba, so you got everything. So it's, it's the life, the meaningful to the life. So I'm, I'm personally, I'm pretty, pretty buying. I like it. And then we got, um, we got uh, this is the logistic platform. We, we do quite a lot of logistic business, but we don't really ship anything. We don't really take anything to anywhere. We built up a um, logistic platform. Okay, so for the, for the couriers, for the sellers, the buyers, we plug it into the platform. So we can get, we can become the brain, we can become the, the you know, enabler to, to help them to do the job better way. Okay. So, and also minimize the investment made by the, it also, it also players, you know, you don't need to heavily invest in front to, to build up the system, you can plug it in. So it, on the uh, subscription um, in the basis, and we got lots of um, financial services. So yeah, we got uh, Alipay and uh, probably, have, have anyone used of Alipay before you heard of Alipay? Yeah, that's good, <laughs> thank you. So yeah, it's one of the major products we launched uh, globally and uh, you know, from our financial sector. And so we got more, and especially this credit uh, system is uh, very interesting. And uh, on top of that, we have many different applications, okay? First, it's, uh, we call it a digital media entertainment. It's also, we call it a big entertainment uh, division. We got um, Youku, it's the Chinese equivalent of uh, YouTube. And uh, we got the, our you know, pictures, it's, it's our filming movie uh, company. The music and uh, this is um, uh, Weibo. Weibo is uh, uh, similar to Twitter, you know. And also we got the Explorer and the sports business. That's the entertainment one. And for the co commerce, we have a different uh, Chinese B two B and B two C, C two C, and um, also uh, the O two O. So probably somebody actually using um, hosted the AliExpress before to buy things from China. Yeah, I think so. It's pretty good. I tried it before as well. And also we have other local services like um, AliTrip. It's been renamed to another name. So um, it's uh, you know, similar to Booking.com. They can buy tickets, they buy some uh, book hotels, quite a lot of things online. So that, that's the what we do. So we are really a um, platform company. We got a big platform of many, many, many different platforms. So we also treat ourselves as a data company because there are so much data on top of this platform. And we also we think we are a technology company because we are the technology enabler to, 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 to provide services to everybody. And uh, how we can help you to help your business, help your organization to, to do the business. Um, okay, so we, know, we got many users, active users. We are looking after many, many users. We have got many, many uh, customers. And, uh, and uh, for this, it's very important. It's a double 11. So it's our uh, Chinese Black Friday shopping, shopping, shopping festival, shopping day every, every year created by Alibaba. And during that day, people buy things. Lots of people buy many, many things. So we got, we got okay, during last year, we managed to create, in terms of GMV, total transaction, okay, of some, with the money. So it's about 17.8 uh, billion US dollars. So that's the, that's the, the GMV for that day. Okay, and um, lots of orders, we managed to deliver over a billion, you know, um, transactions 
you know, the delivery during that day. And uh, we, in terms of orders, uh, peak time uh, during a second, we have uh, up to 175,000 orders coming into in the, our system professed by Alibaba Cloud. So we are the largest, you know, uh, cloud provider in China, in Asia, and globally we're number three in the world, okay? Um, and later, my, 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 my colleague will explain so how we made it happen technically. Okay. So this is the footprint, footprint of us in globally. We start from China, so many, each dot represents a region. In each region, we got more, more than three, even four, even five physical data centers. Each one is really large scale. And outside China, we got Hong Kong, Singapore, um, Australia, Japan, Dubai, Germany, US East, US West, about eight regions launched already, up and running. And also we are planning for the UK, uh, Nordics, uh, South Africa, and South America, and also Moscow, Russia. Okay, so that in by end of next year, we should have a pretty good coverage of the entire world in a better way. And um, so this is our portfolio in terms of what we offer in terms of so if you if you have used the public cloud like AWS before you find this is uh, uh, our uh, portfolio pretty comp comprehensive and very compatible to um, AWS okay so like a compute storage database networking and lots of uh, applications and solutions for industries so my colleague where we're, we're looking at you know show you more about them so if you've got any technical question don't ask me ask him okay all right and, uh, and uh, yeah, compared to other providers, some, some third party give uh, pretty good uh, comments on us in terms of networking and uh, computing, uh, storage and uh, security. We are one of the leading, leading uh, providers in the world, right? And um, so China connectivity. So in, in order, so we got many, many, you know, um, business coming from to China. So many, many companies from China, from Asia, they are doing business into Europe, into US. So we're supporting them to, to fulfill their you know, business from the East to the West. Okay, this is China 1. And for China 2, we have lots of you know, European customers, pretty global, and, uh, and they got lots of presence in Asia, in China, you know, in uh, Australia, even New Zealand. So we support them to expand their business better into, into, into Asia. So to, from the west to the east. Okay, that's where we got our infrastructure. So, oh, guys, if you got any, any question, feel free to interrupt me. We, we, you know, it's not really, we don't want to waste our time to give a presentation. I appreciate your time to listen, but please, yeah, give me, you know, questions I can answer. Please, so yeah. How much of the mm. 40 terabytes per second does AliExpress take from <laughs> okay. the China connection? Right. <laughs> because I assume you get a lot of traffic from USA and Europe. Yeah. Through China Connect. Yeah. So if you have reserved bandwidth, it's mm. reserved for uh, all of the services, probably. Yeah. So how much does Alibaba take from the traffic, and how much is free for the other users? <laughs> <laughs> so I I don't know the figures from this. I don't really. Know. I, but I can imagine it's really is a large amount of uh, you know the traffic and the happening, and uh, and I I I can see it's a, it's a whole speed. And everything is going really up the further you know. Uh, between you know because of the business yeah, yeah business really happening yeah and yeah, because it's, it's really hot um, market in in Asia especially China lots of companies want to officially um, run in their business in China but Chinese market is big it's good but it's very uh, it's highly regulated market that means in order to do the business there it's more than just open a website and try to put things online and get people to see and get people to buy it's a lot more than complicated than that so it's very highly it's highly regulated in the market so that's the reason why i want to say first of all there's a lot of local laws compliance and regulations you have to be be you know be aware of and also take them into account very very seriously so in china we have uh, achieved quite a lot uh, you know uh, certifications and also for us there are many many you know so certifications we have achieved singapore and us europe and we know gdpr is coming and we are well working on it very actively and uh, globally we have um, you know it's a uh, very pretty well known you know uh, certifications we have achieved okay uh, more details we can go to the website and see you know see them if you if you are interested so um probably the yeah, it's confidential. It's quite internet usage, but I'm more than happy to share with you today. And um, uh, okay, so 
China is a market is becoming um, it be further regulated, and the new uh, China security, flag for security law is coming up. It will be effective from the first of June. Okay, so we need to be prepared, prepared for that. So first of all, the background of it, you know, next security, and uh, that means uh, we need quite a lot. Uh, things to, has to be localized. You can't really, for example, some e-commerce company. You can't really simply just uh, run your services from maybe Central uh, Europe or from, from somewhere, US or Japan, to cover the entire world. But for China, the data, especially information, security, uh, private information has to be stay inside the main of China. Okay, so um, there are many different articles to explain so, so which part, for each particular part, you, w w you know, what we should do. So there are further guidance coming up. And uh, how can we help? That's more important. So, Data secure. Okay. Secondly, is uh, you know you know we need to have the good performance. Okay. Third one, we have the support, and also we have the legal support to make help you become compliant. So I don't know where how, how many of you got from the each cross border you know, business trading background, and um, yeah. But this is what we what we can do for you. Okay. So we are more than happy to take it offline. We can have some further discussion. Okay. Um, yeah. So. Who will be our typical customers? Okay, so we cover full industries. Okay, especially for the Asia. So we got lots of web hosting, IoT, big data. So and especially for big data, we are um, very very good at it. And it's the enable of the, of the entire Alibaba business because without that, we, Alibaba can no longer run. And for gaming, you know, gaming is such a hot topic. So everybody play games and uh, internet-based games. And uh, for China, it's really happening. Well, very, very attractive. And the mobile services, as you can see, uh, we are already serving about uh, 426 uh, million consumers. Okay, so four to six million consumers, they are using Alibaba services. And, you know, among this bigger number of consumers, there are 410 million users they access the service through the mobile devices, more likely with mobile phones. So that means 90% of the users, they are using our services through mobile phones. Okay, so mo we, especially in China, you know, um, there, okay, it's a long history of China, but for the new China, um, you know, we skipped a lot. Okay, so you, there isn't much um, legacy thing for us to inherit from the past, okay? We build up a lot of things from the scratch. That means we skip a lot. So people enter the mobile world, enter the new mobile economy pretty straight away, okay? Just like high-speed trend and uh, happen in China just within a few years. And then you can see high-speed trend everywhere in China. So so mobile services is such interesting, okay? So lots of apps, games, and uh, activities done through the mobile. And uh, in order to, to secure that business, we have very good secure product solutions and uh, for the industry and e-commerce that we come from, finance is, is, is really is the core of our, our business. And for the Alipay, you know, the cash reserved on Alipay global platform is about um, 800 billion US dollars. <laughs> yes, a billion. Um, that's a lot, you know, at the, at the translation from you were China. Off for yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so so we 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 probably is one of the biggest bank. We are not bank, okay, but we are really one of the biggest you know, bank, you know, finance service provider in the, um, in the world. So we need to sure, ensure we have very strong um, technical, you know, the, you know, the you know, mechanism to secure our customers' money, okay, and um. Yeah, and the video, lots of video uh, applications in China, and uh, people really like uh, to live uh, live show on a mobile phone, and people can watch and very interactive, very interesting. Yeah. Okay, so our typical customers from from the West, you know, like so Philips, like and um, Schneider Electronics, and also we got some some videos of cloud born, you know, applications business. So. We have a lot of customers and, uh, and we are supporting, from phase one, more likely, we support their China as an Asia deployment. And the second <laughs> step, we support them locally because our globalization is not really long time yet, about one and a half years old. But we becoming some uh, very good you know, potential alternative to AWS. So that, that's the key message I want to pass to you, okay? 
So yeah, so we want to grow the business along with you because, because the slogan is the, the vision of Alibaba Group as a whole is we want to make you know it's easier, okay, always easier to do the business everywhere with everybody. So that's the cause. That's the that's the, that's the reason why we 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 are here. So we are here to help. Okay. So thank you. So that's all for for for, for my bit. Hi everyone. So my name is Xuan. I'm the cloud architect in Alibaba Cloud Europe. Uh, well, before I start, I, first of all, I want to thank you, say thank you for Ethicode and the TCG for organizing such an amazing event to see everybody here. So it's our first meetup and our first trip actually in Helsinki to give you, uh, you know, um, introduction of uh, cloud services that Alibaba has uh, been providing. Actually. Um, before, before I actually dive into the technical details, so I'm a technical guy, and also I consider, consider myself a um, hardcore computer gamer. Um, so when I was um, preparing for the slides, I was actually uh, coming, I came through some uh, interesting videos online, which I thought, ah, I have to uh, you know, present this uh, to you guys. Uh, it's a little bit off topic, but it's gonna be uh, fun to share with you guys, I believe. Um, so, who in this room has played a game called uh, StarCraft? Yeah? Okay, quite a, quite a lot of people, All right? Okay, so uh, StarCraft is a real-time strategy game uh, that used, uh, de delivered by Blizzard. So, uh, it's a, um, so famous at that time, so I, you know, I remember when I was in college, I was playing overnight with competing with my, uh, you know, roommates, you know, tirelessly. And at that time, I'm so slow in operating those, uh, each individual troops, you know, to get them effectively attack each other, right? And I was so amazed to see that uh, Korean professional players who has an um, action per minute of 300 plus, that they can you know, do the micro uh, operations, etc. And I was so amazed by their hand speed of operations. And I dreamed to, 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 to be one of them, but you know, I never did, and I ne probably never will, because I have uh, retired from gaming because the, bo the birth of my two lovely daughters. <laughs> so uh, that's a shame. So I, I would never be a professional gamer. But I found, uh, uh, you know, Alibaba actually paired up with uh, UCL, you know, U University College of uh, London. They have been delivering uh, artificial intelligence uh, solution to micro-operate those troops, uh, like Marines, like uh, rest warriors, and to attack efficiently. So that's the video I found and I would like to share with you. Uh, there's no sound, so uh, I will talk along. So as you can see, those race warriors, basically they are doing the hit and run for those mutalisks. And they, they, are, they are great because they learned that mutalisk attacks can do the collateral damage so that they don't, don't gather together, right? If you gather together, you get hit twice. So they split and they do the hit and do the run. So the, in that way, it's more efficient in uh, attacking. And also, this is famous Dragoon Dance, if you are familiar with this uh, uh, StarCraft. So for the Archerlist, they basically chase the Dragoons everywhere, but the, you know, the Dragoons can actually kill the Mutalisk without, uh, Ultralisk without any uh, damage for those guys. And this is a, a transport shape. Those, those uh, tanks were controlled by the AI, and also you know, the transport shape and the tank can get together very well and do the hit and do the run, do the hit and do the run. So the ultra list was like, a, like an idiot. Those Marines are controlled by, uh, by the agent. And uh, as you know, those uh, Zealots are actually very powerful. They can you know, pretty much kill all the three Marines with, uh, by himself. But actually with this hit and run, you know, the uh, Zealot has, um, has no chance. And also with, against those Zerglings, and as you can see, those Marines just splits up uh, with a three and three, you know, formation. It's like, a, you know, you are, you are attacking in the real time. So without a action, you know, APM of 300 plus, you can never achieve this. Because, you know, like me, I, I will probably be dead, you know, within 20 seconds. And with all these Zerglings, it's, um, yeah. So, 
So that's that's some uh, interesting video I found by chance from the internet, and um, uh, actually it was uh, delivered by Alibaba and uh, together the research uh, with uh, um, with UCL. Uh, that, that's fun, and that just proves one thing, that um, Alibaba is at the front line of research for many, many areas, including the artificial intelligence and uh, uh, big data, uh, data mining. Actually, Yang has been saying, you know, uh, actually big data is our core abilities, right? Okay, now let's go back on track to talk some technical stuff. I'm a technical guy. So, Alibaba Cloud has been growing very quickly in the recent years. Uh, we have been growing like uh, three digits uh, since 2015. Uh, and we are the market leader in the uh, Chinese domestic market. We have about 60% market share, which means all the other competitors they are pretty much in the single digits. Um, for all, we are covering all the industries uh, including you know government, public sectors, uh, research, science, science, uh, science research, and uh, um, small, medium, large company enterprises, everything in China. And actually, we have about you know about 19 percent of startups uh, and game companies use Alibaba Cloud. Uh, give some magic numbers. Uh, Yang has talked about this. Um, oh. Yang has talked about this almost 18 uh, billion uh, US dollars um, revenue. So yeah, uh, I'm okay. I'm technical. I don't quite care about these numbers, but uh, you know these dollars. But this this actually is uh, amazing me because uh, we are doing the payment like. Uh, 120k per uh, second transactions. Actually, I've heard of uh, uh, from Alipay partners. We actually in that single day. Unfortunately, we actually pulled down some foreign uh, payment gateways because of these huge transactions. No, no payments cannot you know survive with this uh, this rate. And uh, Finance Cloud, we we support 20 plus banks. Orders, well, it's 175k orders per second. That's um, that's not page views. That's transactions per second. I mean, for any people from background, uh, from technical background, knows what it means. It's it's just a thrilling number. And deliveries, we made uh, we made 500, uh, 657 million deliveries a day. And again, I don't quite get this number of 657 millions. You know, that doesn't mean anything. But if I converted every pa every packet into a TCP packet, which is 64 K KB, right? Then that makes sense. That translated to 42 terabytes of data in a single day. And if you take one single day to deliver it, we are talking about 300, uh, well, 3.9 gigabytes per second. So that's a bandwidth we are talking about. So trans transforming those packets into digital form. That I understand. Right? So uh, technology evolution, well, Alibaba Cloud, the big data platform we are utilizing, we are, in 2015, we, uh, we break the world record of doing uh, 100 terabyte of data sort. We achieve it in 377 uh, seconds to sort 100 uh, terabyte of uh, data. And the next year, uh, we switch our angle slightly differently because you know, everybody can throw in more compute to make it you know, faster, right? But in, in, in next year, we proved we are the, the best cost-effective way of doing it. So by sorting each of terabyte of data, we only cost 1.4 US dollars. So that's also a world record. So it's, we are not only the fastest, but also we are most cost efficient. Connectivity is um, is an uh, issue uh, for everybody if you are doing international uh, business. Um, there are a lot of uh, solutions. You know, I believe uh, AWS has their own solutions. Amazon have their own solutions. Uh, Alibaba have a product called Express Connect, uh, which means we can give you a carrier-grade SLA based on Alibaba's cloud's backbone network. So you can, have, you can see these um, 
you can see this diagram with Frankfurt, uh, you know, all those data centers we have. They are all interconnected each other, with each other. And we have an SLA guaranteed if you purchase this Express Connector product. And which means if your, if your um, business is going to China, you will have a guaranteed network connectivity as well. As far as I know, Alibaba Cloud is the one and the only one can offer these solutions until today. So how about like if I would try from Be uh, Frankfurt to Beijing? Yeah. Uh, so this blocks the fa uh, so you will pay me if uh, a Chinese firewall will block my internet connection. This should go off record, <laughs> 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 but uh, yes. Okay. So, um, uh, so, well, basically, this uh, this is the ability Alibaba Cloud is providing to our customers. Yeah. We have comprehensive product portfolio. Uh, first of all, I have to emphasize this is a product map in Chinese domestic market. We don't have all everything in the international region, but everything is coming up. Simply because we only started internationalization two years ago, since 2015. And it takes a bit time to do the lift and shift, doing the translation, deployment, etc., and etc. But from, from, from this map, you can see we cover you know, all those um, four big four pillars of uh, uh, public cloud services, including compute, storage, database, networking. And uh, monitoring and security is one of our uh, key abilities as well, because we have the anti-DDoS Pro, which we give for free to everybody who's, um, who's, uh, uh, who's our um, public cloud customer uh, for five, up to five gigabytes per second. And uh, this can be topped up if you were wishing to be protected more, up to, let's say, 700 gigabytes per second. Alibaba Cloud has written a history that helped one of our gaming company, games companies to defend the world's largest DDoS attack uh, in record, which is 453 gigabytes per second and peak time. So that's written in the history. So uh, those products is also uh, in offer. Also, big data is our key abilities, as I have been emphasizing and emphasizing. Um, imagine the big data product, you are, um, we are servicing you in path layer. You know, it's a path service. You don't have to maintain your own Hadoop cluster. Everything is hustle free. You just use our big data platform, put your data there, and you can do your queries straight away. And you pay as you go. That's a key message. A little bit of comparison into uh, Alibaba Cloud's offering and uh, AWS, um, which is a common term uh, everybody can understand. So, so as you can see, I'm not going to in, uh, each of the individual products, uh, but um, computing, yes, we cover most of them. Uh, well, every every single one of them. And database, you know, we have a lot of database uh, services which are not even offered by uh, AWS or other competitors because it. Uh, database we are, is also one of our um, strongest points, um, uh, well, in comparison to other uh, service providers. Um, some of the uh, developers in uh, Alibaba Cloud is actually a core committee in the uh, MariaDB, which is the um, open source version of the, uh, in the MySQL. So, <clears throat> yeah. Also, security uh, application services. Uh, you know, we have a quite good portfolio covering pretty much all the aspects that uh, people will need uh, or looking to in the public cloud services. Right. Uh, so, coming a little bit into the VMs or you know the the basics of the. Uh, Computing units. Uh, so we have a good good range of uh, services uh, services provided. You know, different um, instance families. Uh, those are more for the smaller websites, uh, com compact and balanced. And for the if we move into the enterprise level, we have uh, you know highly I/O optimized instances, memory optimized, etc. Computer optimized like AWS, and we have dense storage optimized. You know, we can do the research later on. Um, also, we are looking to uh, more compute intensive, which includes uh, GPU, 
uh, accelerated instances and also FPGAs is also coming online. RDS, we are very good at um, uh, databases services. Um, again, it's, uh, we offer uh, a good variation of service, uh, products, including MySQL, uh, MySQL version, MSQL, um, yeah, and also uh, PostgreSQL, etc. So by default, it comes uh, with triple replications, and uh, in comparison, Amazon is doing uh, duplicate, uh, so only two copies, but we are doing triple, uh, triple copies. We have dedicated uh, uh, log I.O., and uh, we have one single click of a backup restore migration services, which are uh, managed online. So all this is about that you don't you don't need to worry about the infrastructure. All you need to, to do is to consider your table, consider your schema, and concentrate on your business logic. Leave the infrastructure to Alibaba Cloud to manage. RDS, it's not a simple uh, MySQL, and uh, as you can see, we actually have developed a web IDE for for people to um, you know for our customers to to develop and also manage the, the SQL uh, instances. Also, CDN is actually a very interesting product we have. Um, uh, we have been recently merged with Youku, which is a Chinese version of YouTube. The CDN has merged together, and now we have 1,000 plus pops in Chinese domestic market, uh, which pretty much put us on the, on the first seat of the Chinese do D CDN market as well. Uh, we only use um, high quality pops, uh, which, uh, you know, the minimum bandwidth we require is 40 gigabytes per second. Uh, we work with a lot of our uh, um, uh, partners in China, and in the European or the global region, we are actively talking to our customers, i.e. Akmai, so we are having an uh, agreement uh, going, going to be released very soon that we are working with them um, to uh, to better serve the global market. Security <coughs> security is is in the core of Alibaba and Alibaba Cloud. So how do we do this? It's actually we again we utilize our big data platform so that we can learn who is attacking us. Right? Alibaba is big enough for everybody to attack Alibaba alone. So. By, by, by doing the re research, we, we, we know, you know the malicious IPs, we know the malicious acts, we, we know the samples, we know the security vulnerabilities, and we probably have the biggest white hat community in China uh, who are ex security experts, who constantly doing penetration tests for our customers, doing professional services uh, for our customers as well. So security is a key ability of Alibaba Cloud, and we are ex exporting this ability to protect our uh, customers. Security system, yeah, so um, apart from the DDoS, anti-fraud uh, in the business layer, so uh, here, you know, anti-DDoS in the network <coughs> layer, application layer, we got the uh, WAF, uh, but in the mobile, we have the mobile security solutions, uh, which gives you um, a security scanning for your, for your app's vulnerabilities. And we can look for Trojan horses, we can look for uh, backdoors, and we can also harden your apps by um, obfuscating your code, so that it's difficult to reverse in engineer. Anti-DDoS, yeah, that, that's pretty much uh, the story I have been to telling before. So Alibaba Cloud has successfully delivered uh, one uh, you know, uh, one success story back in 2014, which is 453 gigabytes per second. We are building the scrubbing center, so how, in case you are wondering how we did that, so we are building the traffic scrubbing center all over the world, uh, so that, you know, only, only the good traffic will go through, uh, you know, your, uh, go through your, uh, your service here, sorry. So Alibaba, uh, so the big data, I want to talk more about big data because you know, that's so important and that's, that's one of the key differentiators of Alibaba cloud from other cloud providers. Because 
Alibaba is making money from big data and before anybody else, pretty much, I can say that because because you know, we uh, because all the GMV is happening on Alibaba's trading platform, we don't make much money from it. So, but instead, we make money from Alimama, which is the recommendation engine and marketing uh, advertising platform. So, so so we 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 have been been uh, using our big data platform to to make money since uh, very early. So we have been exporting our abilities uh, in building this uh, big data pass layer. So, so by 2013, we have the first uh, ODPS cluster, which has 5,000 uh, machines in it. And that's a landmark. And uh, in, two, in 2015, we, su we successfully supported uh, the Double Eleven shopping festival, and in a single day, we processed about 100 petabit of data in six hours. With, with our big data platform, you can easily deal with 100 petabit of data as well. Thanks to all the um, clusters, Absara is Absara is operating system that distributed serve, uh, uh, cluster management software we developed. Is you can, you can, well put it into comparison. You can probably think it, think of it as a Mesos, Mesosphere from Mesos, right? But but much more complicated than that. So it has a lot of uh, uh, moving parts such as um, uh, resources scheduling, uh, disk management, etc., etc. Uh, but under that. Those are all these uh, smaller computers, you know, normal consumer-grade computers, like everyone's PC under there. <clears throat> and so, on top of on top of this big data platform, we can have a lot of fun stuff, services like a um, map reduce, graph compute, streaming computer is like a Spark cluster. Uh, we can have a machine learning platform uh, and OCRs, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Everything is uh, delivered through, uh, you know, RESTful API SDKs are available. Uh, you can do it in a classic uh, map reduce uh, model, write your own program, Java program. You can do that, or you can have a by default um, a, a Hive, uh, like a, you know, SQL like um, form, and it can get fairly complicated. You can build your models like you know zigzags, you know, I can't read them, but uh, it gives you some, you know, impression. Of uh, this, so how it compare with uh, the popular platforms? So it has been proven that we are 95% faster than the height, um, and uh, it's 18% faster than Spark SQL. But internally, you know, from from the feedback from the customers, we we can be even, you know, 20 times faster or 40 times faster, given into different circumstances, optimizations, comparing to Hive. So, yeah, Alibaba is constantly uh, innovating. You know, we do uh, we research in AI. So as you can see, you know, previously I presented a, a StarCraft um, video, and also uh, we have a lab uh, concentrating on uh, AI research and predicted the winner of the Emma Singer contest uh, in China. So <clears throat> that's a high-profile uh, singing contest. By by doing that, you know we delivered our uh, you know with this Max Compute the uh, big data platform, we are able to build our another path layer of um, um, machine learning uh, AI component, and uh, we 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 are compatible with with uh, uh, you know the major frameworks in deep learning uh, such as uh, TensorFlow, uh, Cafe, uh, and also MaxNet. So <clears throat> and also more importantly, we have a lot of the uh, algorithm built in already. You don't need to, well, you can, but you don't have to write your own program, or, uh, et cetera. You just need to build your reasoning tree, and you tweak the parameters a bit. And uh, oh, OK, obviously, you need to make your data online. And you can have your result. So one thing we are constantly emphasizing is Alibaba is concentrating on the whole ecosystem. So the ecosystem is very important to Alibaba and Alibaba Cloud because 
Alibaba alone, Alibaba Cloud alone, it can be the infrastructure provider, but we can utilize all the whole ecosystem, including Alipay, Alimama, Yuku, and the Taobao, and together we can achieve much more amazing things. So yeah, that's the uh, AI platform uh, that's called uh, ET we are building. So on top of it, we have uh, on top of it, we have the industrial uh, brain, uh, which is um, you know, utilizing artificial intelligence to help the uh, indus uh, industry 4.0 trans uh, transformation. And this is a medical brain, uh, helps in uh, medical research, uh, health management, including you know, cancer research uh, back in China, uh, and medical drugs research, uh, wearable devices, etc. And uh, Alibaba, uh, as a group, we constantly feed back to, uh, to the developers community as well. If you, on GitHub, if you search for Alibaba, you probably uh, see a lot of high profile, um, top level, uh, Apache top level projects, including RocketMQ, including Wix, uh, you know, uh, and also Rax, uh, you know, that kind of product uh, is all, always online. And Alibaba is also having the Chinese most prestigious uh, computing conference uh, in, in, in Hangzhou, in our HQ. So, so that's uh, one event if you want to go to China for you know, technical reasons. We deliver a lot of uh, business critical uh, applications. Uh, we work very closely with a lot of banks. Uh, so 100 petabit of level of um, data we are, we are talking about. Also, <clears throat> we help an, a lot of uh, customers to uh, bust their computing resource. Uh, one example is 12306. Um, well, I have no idea why it's called that, but it's basically the, the, it's, a, it's a Chinese uh, official, uh, it's an official uh, website for Chinese people to purchase uh, railway tickets. Right? So, so in China, we have a, a phenomenon which is called a Spring Festival um, transportation. So every Chinese, wherever you are, during Spring Festival, you have to go, go back home to celebrate as a family. Right? And uh, because the Eastern China, we have a lot of um, uh, economy, uh, you know, it's much richer and it's economic is much better than the Western. So a lot of people are working in the Eastern part. And then during Spring Festival, they need to go back to their home. And after Spring Festival, in about 10 days, they will come back again to the East for continuing our working. So and that creates a bit of a problem because you know, the website will crash when it opens for booking for you know, that, that kind of a period. So they actually, you know, this website actually approached Alibaba saying, OK, you have been dealing with uh, the double 11, the single day shopping festival. Can, can you help us? Because we are crashing all the time. So, Alibaba actually, yeah, t took the request. So on a single day, the page view is uh, almost 30 billion uh, on one single day. And the online ticket was issued was uh, 5.6 million tickets. Uh, it's not a single day, but during that period. Um, and um, as you can see, this um, uh, Spring Festival peak hour, now how, how we help to, to, to scale is that we expand their um, computing power twice. And each time, we only took five minutes to expand the computing power the whole, for their whole platform. And without Alibaba, we underpinned 75% of their computing power. If you take out Alibaba from the picture, probably the website will no longer be able to serve anybody. OK, so that's pr probably a very quick introduction to Alibaba Cloud and technical abilities. Uh, if you are interested, that's our uh, international website, uh, intro.aliyun.com. In case you don't know what is Aliyun, it's basically a Chinese, Yun is Chinese word, uh, word of cloud. So Ali Cloud, Alibaba Cloud, aliyun.com. Uh, and uh, for people who can read uh, Chinese, you can visit you know, cn.aliyun.com. Uh, for more information. <laughs>